Hannah Mojo, and Brooke Schofield's podcast has been a big topic of conversation recently. Not too long ago, people were either mad at Tana's friends for not taking her stalker situation seriously, or people were mad at Tana for not making time for Brooke's birthday. And now fans have some thoughts about their recent podcast guest. I will say the majority of people just seem to feel really bad for Brooke and Tana in this episode, feeling like it was pretty all over the place and crazy. In the latest episode of the show, they had Megan Trainer and Chris Olsen on and fans didn't have the best reaction and they've been making their opinions very much known, not only in the comments section, but also on TikTok as well. I was seeing the clips of the episode go around and the comments were not looking good. So I sat down to watch the full thing and it was certainly a ride. They did talk about a lot of stuff from Tana's new boyfriend to Megan's career, times her and Chris fooled their fans. And then there's some random comments about parenting and a kiss. And those are the things that fans had a lot to say about. Megan seemed really excited to be around Tana, saying that she's been watching her on YouTube for a really long time, even referencing her MTV reality show at one point. Basically, they had seen each other at a concert recently, and it's what led to this episode because Megan said she was a fan and they were like, we're fans of yours, and they just decided to sit down together. And I feel like if you watch interviews of Megan on other shows, this is just kind of how she is, but people were very shook by her on this podcast and definitely were judging the things that she was saying and doing a lot. One of the comments that I saw talked about quite a bit was in reference to a kiss in this episode. And there was a part of the podcast where they were talking about Megan's brother and how she wants so badly for her brother to be with Chris Olsen, but her brother is straight. They are close though. And Megan, her husband, Chris, and her brother went on a trip together and she wanted them to kiss for a photo at one point and on the topic of kisses she wanted tana to kiss her uh, megan's dream forever is <laughs> at the end of the day <laughs> i said tana no don't you <laughs> dad <laughs> isn't that like a whole thing on the internet though you guys had like a little no! pretend yeah yeah th that's yeah listen i make people kiss people kiss no, on the lips. I swear to God. Oh. I just kissed Megan Trainor on camera. <laughs> yes. I love a kiss. Now. <laughs> oh, I feel so good and sweaty. People in the comments were saying Tana would never admit this, but I feel like she didn't want to kiss her, but it would have been too awkward if she didn't. The kiss, like, what was that actually? Tana was not trying to do that, and the forcing her to do it was so uncomfortable because you could tell Tana didn't want to do it. She pulled away so fast, the whole episode was just uncomfortable, as someone on TikTok even commented on a clip of the podcast and said, Megan making Tana kiss her was my last straw and had to turn it off. In terms of Chris Olsen and Megan's brother, for a second, people weren't sure if they were trolling or dating because when Chris posted a photo of them kissing on this trip, it sure did have people wondering if they were together or not. But they did confirm that her brother is straight and it was just a funny thing for them all. <laughs> We were um, all in Australia celebrating and we walked the bridge, the amazing bridge in Sydney. And they had and us, they you had, had to go in pairs. You had to go in, in, you had to yeah. go in pairs. Yes. So <laughs> Ryan was paired with Chris and Listen, me and Daryl. Ryan love each other. We really yeah. do. But me yeah. and Daryl, me and Daryl yeah. kissed in our moment. So then we went first and then I yelled at them and I said, Kiss! And, and then they kissed. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I but Ryan I wasn't initially home. gonna do it, but Ryan like <laughs> did to me. <laughs> I was like Absolutely. ready for a moment. I love it. We love yeah. a secure in your masculinity yes. straight man. So and love. we love just we love Good a job, kiss. Ryan. And so when I was creating my and. Australia <laughs> dump on Instagram, I was like, I want a moment to be the first photo. Now speaking of relationships, Tana recently went public with her new boyfriend, and Megan was very excited to see see him in person. And at the time of recording this, she wasn't really sure how public she wanted to be with him. Obviously now she's been a lot more public with him, but at the time of recording this, she wasn't sure yet, but Megan was very excited to show him off for Tana. Hey Megan. Excited. Makoa is his name. Oh, bleep that maybe. Makoa! Megan's Makoa! Podcast, podcast is over. Thank you guys so much. For I you, you really <laughs> seriously just walked right into that. Yeah, yeah, I just thought she was asking a nice, friendly question, no. and it's making it's sure never, I'm gonna answer her. It's never that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna answer her. You know? Oh my I god. Said, where's no, the boyfriend? Makoa. No, I don't want to subject him to all this. Oh, uh, well, on the way out, I will introduce you guys. Okay. S tell him no, I need him so bad. No, on the way out, I'll introduce you guys. I don't want to subject him to all this. Tell him she needs him so bad. No, don't do it. No, no, no. He's not a fun toy that we, we need to show him. Oh, since when are men not toys? That's so true. Uh, 
No, it's yeah, Megan screaming. I said it. I said to it. Tell him, no, we'll see him on the way out. We He's said it peaceful. on the last episode. We you did. did? Mm-hmm. Oh, right. God, guys, it's so. Oh my God, she, she loves him. I'm, dead I'm so stressed. She <laughs> loves oh him. Look I at her. I've never seen her get so like. No, eat. you're in love. And the fans were once again like, "What is going on here?" Writing, I find it so disrespectful how they kept pushing Tana to get her boyfriend on the episode, and you can clearly tell she doesn't want him to. Like she said, he's not a toy. What is wrong with people? Let her have something good in her life for once. Then fans also didn't really love the comment about Tana being trash when they were talking about their death row meals. Weird. Plate of hot Cheetos and then a separate paper plate of warm queso. But like until I'm full. Period. You're so <laughs> trash, wow. I love it. <laughs> a plate, a plate, of, hot plate of hot Cheetos. Cheetos and warm queso. Why well, even put yeah. them on a the plate? Cheetos in. Uh. <gasps> Megan also got called out for one moment where she told Tana to get up and do something because she isn't a mom and she was opening up about parenting being really hard. Uh, Listen to me, like, you don't have children. Get up. What, uh, what, get, get up, up and- Get up and do something. That's Before I had kids, what the fuck was I doing? What do you mean? Right. I wasted so much time well, how sleeping. So? Oh no. I was just sleeping. I'm doing that right now. Yeah. I when you have kids it. and you're up at six every day, you're like, what I'm did I wake do up before? You don't have what did I not accomplish Period. before? Do you have no nannies? I have one that um, is there Monday through Friday from nine to uh, eight to five. Okay. It's oh, very helpful. Yeah. Yeah. It's not it's enough. Amazing. You know, yeah. like there's, there's yeah. another one. So now yeah. that there's two, there's like no breaks. This one I saw going around a lot on TikTok, people talking about this particular moment. And they definitely had a lot of things to say in reaction to this clip. Love it how Megan's trying to be relatable via her like millennial humor. But nothing screams more tone deaf than a millionaire having a nanny that works eight to five Monday through Friday and still being like, mm, it's not enough. After five o'clock, what do you do as a parent? Make dinner and then send them to bed and maybe like have bath time? Hmm? Fun fact, I work as a nanny for a f housewife. Let that sink in. Celebrities, rich people could never, rich people could never work a f nine to five, especially with kids. These celebrities need a new challenge, like, Mm, a celebrity stopping Tonda. The comment section was on fire for this episode, and really there was nothing good being said in there. People said, I was viscerally uncomfortable this entire episode. LMFAO. Brooke and Tana's body language says it all. What I would do to get Tana and Brooke's honest opinion about this episode because I wasn't a fan of Miss Trainer. Tana and Brooke really tried their best to save this one. LMAO. I would do anything to hear the conversation Brooke and Tana had after they left. Tana, please give Brooke a raise just for showing up to this up. LMAO. There were definitely a lot more, especially about Megan. Like, like people, they were just not, they were not feeling her after this episode. And the way multiple times in it, cancellation was being brought up because Megan was saying that her mom was like, oh my God, you're going on a show called Cancel. Are they going to cancel you? And then her husband sent in a video of their baby saying hi to Brooke and Tana. And at the end, he was like, don't get canceled. And then all of this comes out after the episode. Such a yikes. Uh, but aside from all the weirdness in the episode that people pointed out, I'll just clear one thing up for anyone who didn't know this little detail about Chris and Megan, because I'll tell you in the beginning, I was totally fooled by this. But they did address the lie about them being childhood friends in this episode. I know that they have addressed it before, but they were talking about it once again because people still think that they are childhood friends. But if you didn't know, Megan has been working with Chris Olsen to make social media content for over a year now. And in the beginning of kind of bringing him on to work together, they made a TikTok faking being childhood friends and people believed it. I mean, I believed it too and thought that it was so natural for them to be working together because of that, but it was all a lie and they talked more about this lie on the podcast. Can you explain the situation of like how you guys got together or like were oh. childhood friends, friends, friends first or like- Childhood friends. From Nantucket, Massachusetts. Okay, but you lied. So you lied for fun. So we lied for fun. No, but he does, he did visit Nantucket a lot. Yes, and I was like, that's- no, 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 in his here's, childhood. Okay, here's, here, so, and, okay, the- uh, Actual story, Megan and I, Megan asked me to do her podcast. Um, and like, so I came over <laughs> and we did we did that. And then she was like, let's make some, t come with TikTok ideas. And I was like, I will. One of them was like, oh, why don't we pretend we're childhood friends? Because I had grown up, my family and I grew up going to Nantucket yeah. every summer. 
and sh- I knew okay, she grew so- up on Nantucket. So I was like, we have that weird connection. So why not like make it a thing? So we photoshopped a photo of us. Um, <laughs> <laughs> as we, children. We did it. We have multiple of those. Yeah, yes, we have multiple. So we we have to we it. I believed it. Really? Yes. Yeah. The way you guys interact too is like so loving and cute. So in case anyone still thought that it was all made up. Now, I will say Tana and Brooke in the episode that they posted today of their canceled podcast, they did talk about the fact that people did not like Megan. People just hate the guests, usually, you know. No, it's hard because it's like I love having guests. Like, it's fun to have a podcast and you're like, oh, my God, I could have this cool guest on my podcast. Yeah, but then everyone, and then everyone's like, I up. hate you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I certainly am curious to know what you guys think about all of this and the reactions fans of the podcast have had to say about everything. Let me know your thoughts. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys.